What is your name? Uh, my name is Adil. Ali is Aswan. My name is Fatima Ziri. Uh, my name is Rupiah Ijaz. I am Amish Rafiq. My name is Maas. Uh, my name is Hamza Hadid. What program are you enrolled in and what year are you? I'm currently pursuing computer science. I'm a junior and my major is in um, data science. Uh, I'm enrolled in CS. I'm in my third year and I'm the Deputy General Secretary for Fast Adventure Society. I'm doing Bachelor's in Business Administration and with a major in Human Resources and I'm a senior. Uh, I'm a computer science student majoring in data science and UI UX design and I'm a senior and I'm also the chairperson of Fast Women in Computing. Uh, I'm a freshman and I'm currently enrolled in Artificial Intelligence. So I'm a bachelor in Artificial Intelligence and I'm a freshman. I got enrolled in Computer Science uh, majoring in Web Development and I'm a senior here. Uh, are you a legacy at Fast? I wouldn't say so. No, I'm not. I don't think anyone from my family has been here before. No, no, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not Alex. I hope not, no. Uh, did you go to a private or a public high school? A semi-government high school. A uh, private? Roots. I went to a public high school. Uh, I went to a public school. I went to a private school. Well, it was a diplomatic school run by the Pakistani government. Uh, a public high school. What were your marks in O levels or matric? In O levels, I had seven A stars and one A. <laughs> um, straight A's. I got a 919 out of 1050 in metric, which is I think 87, 88 uh, percent. In metric, I think I got 90 percent. I got six A's, uh, a B, and a C. In O levels, I had six A stars and three A's. 925. What were your marks in FSC or A levels? In A levels, I had straight A's. Straight A's. <laughs> I got 829 out of 1100 in FSC. Uh, it was 80%. Ooh. Uh, I got C's in, uh, in a D. I had four A stars in my A levels. Uh, around 925. What was the highest grade on your report card? I, I'd say the highest would be the one for my O levels in A star. In university, A plus. I'm sure it was an A. Uh, it was an A probably in physics or chemistry. It was an A. Yeah. A star. Probably an A plus. Yep. What was the lowest grade on your report card? An F. C plus. Uh, I, think, I think it was a C. Uh, it was still an A but in maths. Uh, D. B or B next something, yeah. What did you score on your NAT IE or fast entry test or SATs? I think I had over 70 percent. That part of my life is completely wiped out from my brain. I do not remember. I gave both NAT and fast entry tests, but I think I scored uh, more on the fast entry test. I don't remember the exact number, but it was I think more than 70. Uh, it was fast entry test, and I think I probably got 70 or 71. Uh, I scored around 120 out of 200 in my NAT and around 1200 in my SAT. I didn't take the test at all because of the whole COVID situation. It was all on open merit. So in NAT, in NAT, I scored around uh, 72, and in my fast entry test, I scored around 79. How many times did you take the test? I took the test only once. Um, once I think, only just once. Once. Uh, two times. Only once. How many practice tests did you do? I didn't do too many. I think two to three, maybe. I'm not sure exactly, but probably like five or six. Uh, three, four, uh, three, four. None. Uh, around one or two, hardly. Did you study on your own or did you join an academy? I joined an academy. I went to Gips. Once again, a very bad part of my life. I did go into the academy, uh, but I left it after a month. It was not really beneficial to me. I've never went to any academy or took tuitions for any of my studies ever since I've, I started school. Uh, I studied on my own. I went to an academy for just two days. So, I, yeah, I did study on my own. Uh, I did join an academy before, but it kind of lowered my marks, so I started studying on my own. Which standardized test was the easiest? 
I think MTS was the easiest. Uh, I only gave the one for a fast its own, so I can't really compare. NAT, uh, fastest? Uh, for me personally, I think uh, NAT was much easier. I think NAT was uh, relatively easier than fast and UTS. How many hours did you spend daily studying? Not much, I think around 7 to 8. For the test? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but not a lot. I barely studied like two hours a day for like two weeks, maybe. Um, five, six, not, not much. Uh, actually, I studied on my last day. Around three hours. Well, um, I would say around the finals, I spent like four or five hours, but usually it's not more than two. Um, I think a couple of hours. Which subject did you score the highest in? Uh, I scored the highest probably in computer science. I mean, in ONE level, there were only grades and they were A's, so I can't really compare, not sure. In English. Uh, maths and English. I had the same scores in maths and English. Uh, I scored an A in my mathematics. Information technology. Uh, computer science in both FSC and metric. What made you choose your ground field? I was actually inspired by a teacher in my A levels. My mom is in the computer science field and my mamus are in it so I kind of just followed in their footsteps. Well, I always wanted to go towards the management side but uh, I thought getting an engineering degree might be more useful to me but when I did not get into the engineering program I thought okay this is a sign and I went towards the management side. Uh, it was my plan B, I wanted to get into Air Force. Uh, generally my interest and my dad encouraged me to get into this field. Uh, the fact that I can put it to good use for the health, for improving the healthcare system of Pakistan. Um, I was, I had an initial interest in computers uh, since I was a kid. So yeah, I, I figured why not. How many schools did you apply to? I applied to around four schools. Three. Four. Three schools. Okay, I applied to three schools. I applied to twelve schools. Uh, yeah, around three or four. Which were those schools? Um, fast. Nast, Lams and Vyas. Fast, Comsats and Nast. Fast, Nast, uh, IST and IBA Karachi. Uh, it was uh, College of Aeronautical Engineering, Fast and Nast. Uh, Staffordshire University in England, uh, Nast and Fast. Nast, of course, uh, Bahria, Namal and Islamic University. Which ones did you get into? I got into all four of them. Comsats, Fast and also NUST but like really bad fields that I didn't want to go to. All four. But the programs I got into NUST and IST were not the programs I wanted to do and I could not give the interview for the IBA one so I came to FAST. Only FAST. Just FAST. Well, I got into the University of Toronto, King's College London, uh, University of Birmingham, University of Manchester and Tsinghua University. All of them. What is the most surprising thing about getting into university? I think the most surprising thing was uh, the hectic routine that we had to follow. I think the atmosphere, it's a big change. It's, it comes as a shock sometimes. Um, uh, how much free time you get? Usually in college, you have back-to-back -back classes and here you have a lot of free time, so you get to spend a lot of the time with your friends. Yeah. Initially, I wasn't excited about it, but when I, when I got into FAST, I really had good experience. I enjoy with my friends and I have learned so much from my teachers. Uh, it's actually not that tough to get into a university as it is stereotyped. Uh, the most surprising part was uh, shifting from the old school uh, routine to the, to the new university routine where you can pretty much go out with whenever you want to. How difficult is FAST on a scale of 1 to 1? I'd say maybe a 7 or 8. I mean that's very subjective. If you compare it on studies then it is definitely quite difficult. And if you compare it on fitting in and adjusting in the start, then that comes easily depending on uh, the fence that you find. Uh, 7? 7, 7.5? 8 out of 10? For me, it is 7, but when the assignments start to pile up, it is a solid 9. If you name a number, it would probably result in a segmentation fault, but 11. Um, it's quite rel it's quite relative. Um, at first, it was kind of like 11 out of 10. Yeah, like 12 or 13 out of 10. But as the time progressed and uh, as my degree progressed, I kind of adjust to it, and now it's kind of somewhere around four. Is the fast experience worth it? I hope so. 
I mean, I think I'd be better able to tell once I'm done with it and I can actually implement it in life. But right now, sometimes it does not feel like it's worth it. I, it doesn't seem like it sometimes, but yes, it is. Yes, it is worth it if you have good friends and if you really know why you are here. It is worth it. I think definitely, even though if you don't end up getting good grades, you definitely have a wide skill set. Absolutely, looking at the alumni, I believe it is worth it and if they went through it, why shouldn't I? Uh, Junior is going to think that I'm kind of a stupid person to answer that uh, yes it is, it definitely is. Uh, if you're the kind of person who knows how to figure out studies with their leisure time, so I think at that point it kind of gets fun and it's definitely worth it. What are some stereotypes about past? Um, DC and plagiarism. Okay, I heard two stereotypes about FAST. First one was that only rich snobby kids come here, which is not entirely true. And the another one was that you get a lot of depression here, which is true. Before I came here, I was told that it's impossible to get a grade. I would say that it's not impossible. You can get it, but it would cost a lot of your sanity. Uh, getting an F and teachers purposely failing you. These are that's, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> the instructors are very strict. They fail you. Uh, one of the biggest is uh, that at least everyone gets an F, which is not entirely false. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you're lucky, uh, you do get managed to get past uh, along the whole degree without getting an F. What advice would you give to your younger self? It gets better, don't worry. Do not worry about academics that much, do live a little more. Okay, um, to have a little faith in myself because I had serious doubts about my abilities, especially academically, so I would tell myself to have a little faith because it does work out in the end. I would tell my younger self to chill out and not stress too much. Uh, probably learn time allocation. Enjoy while it lasts. Uh, don't stress that much on uh, the failures, they're just part of the learning phase. And I understand the anxiety everyone faces when applying to different universities, so yeah, it's going to be okay. Do you have any tips for the students who are applying now? I'd say don't stress too much about the college applications. It gets, it gets really difficult, but you'll make through it. I mean, first of all, I would say don't. But if you do, then try to manage your time, like have a little fun as well. Don't just put it all into studies. I understand this time is an extremely stressful time uh, but you cannot let the pressure get the best of you because uh, then you won't be able to perform as well in your test and you have to treat the test as a test. Don't make it into something very scary which it isn't and uh, you'll perform well then. Yes, please socialize, don't isolate yourself and only get in if you're really sure about it or it's going to be hard for you. Build your career around your passions and do what you love and love what you do. Just be good at maths and just be yourself. In the end, it, it's all about uh, what you do and how, how motivated you are. Uh, yeah, the phase is quite uh, anxious, I think, and it can get quite depressing, uh, especially when you're trying to get into one school that you want. But there shouldn't be just uh, this one school where you want to go. You should have some options and things will kind of unfold if you try your best.